she was moving across the border and she was uh, shot and killed by the border patrol as she crossed the border. And so uh, Sananto Cultural Arts dedicated this mural to her. Uh, you can see again some of the some of the common themes that we'll see in the Nabatma of Texas. Uh, also, Presente, uh, you might see that on a couple of murals today. The reason why that's important uh, in the Chicano community, when someone dies, uh, it's common for someone to yell Presente and then say the name of whoever it was. So let's say like Cesar Chavez, like Presente Cesar Chavez, and everybody would say, Que Viva, all together. And there would just be this chant uh, in remembrance of those that have passed. The West Side historically has been a community for the Mexican Americans, uh, you know, people who are uh, the workers in the city, blue collar work, and the West Side has done a very good job of, of documenting those things, but they've created this, this culture of the West Side that's Latino, Mexican American, very proud, blue collar workers, and with gentrification, what you're, what you're risking is that these people that have built up this community over the past you know, decades in San Antonio are gonna be taken out of their community and, and you're gonna lose that culture. We've been the stepchild of the city, the West Side has been, you know? And those that were able to get out of the West Side, they said, man, I'm getting the hell out of here, man, because I don't want to be stigmatized. I don't want to be seen as poor, brown and poor. People who aren't from the West Side are moving here, building fancy apartments that raise the property value, and the people that have always lived here lose their homes. And so it, the, the neighborhood ends up becoming gentrified. I mean, the Pearl uh, wasn't what, what it is now, wasn't that 10, 15 years ago. And so you've seen, uh, you know, the investment being made into that property and it's become a destination for people in San Antonio. If you wanna look at San Antonio as like a tourist destination or, you know, those type of activities, uh, then gentrification is something that people may celebrate. But I think those people don't think about what's happening to that community where the gentrification is happening. Jesse decided to put this here. One of the goals in doing that was to uh, decrease the amount of crime that was happening on this street. Community organizations like Sananto Cultural Arts, La Esperanza Peace and Justice Center, uh, all these cultural art centers are over there who are constantly showcasing local San Antonio art. And I think when those organizations are no longer being celebrated or no longer around, then who's gonna fight for the people of San Antonio, right? I mean, the people who are coming in and gentrifying a lot of times are not San Antonians. And so the, you're losing what makes San Antonio great when people that have lived here for generations are removed from their neighborhoods. Que viva la raza and Atlan lives. Uh, for those of y'all that are in the class, we've been talking about Atlan all year. I think San Antonio is, is a unique city in the United States. There's a lot of cities that are almost, I mean, one city, once you've seen one city, you've seen most cities. Uh, San Antonio being this hub for Latino culture, German culture, like all these things coming together uh, needs to be celebrated, right? And we have, not very many cities have, you know, Spanish missions right in the middle, right? I mean, we have like Texas history, Spanish history, Mexican history, American history, it's all here. And people need to be aware of that and make sure that we maintain those things. Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta, they would say, si se puede, right? Yes, we can. So yeah, I mean, we all can. We can all achieve uh, whatever heights we want to get to. The, the playing field may not be level, but it doesn't matter. Hard work perseveres. Yeah.